this video you're you're about to uh, view is from the Hillsborough County Children's Board meeting on May the eighth, two thousand and twenty-three, related to the closing of Jess Elementary School. That meeting was packed with those concerns with keeping Just Elementary open. Just to give some content to what I'm saying, um, Just Elementary School is an African-American school in Tampa, Florida, in the West Tampa uh, community. As you know, around the country, black and brown schools are being closed at a record time. That meeting um, on May the 8th, I'm sorry, May the 9th, that's the date of the meeting, was an attempt by many groups, both professionals and lay people coming together to fight uh, to keep Jess open. I've been in Tampa for about 20, uh, maybe 21 years, I'm coming out of Baltimore, and I've never seen so many groups, so many people come together at one time to fight for one issue. Even that didn't save the school. But that doesn't stop us from putting together another plan that focus on making sure we get those members on the school board that truly represent us. Now, there were folks that came up, different flat brothers came up to talk about their willingness to do uh, tutoring one-on-one -on -one with the uh, students. You had all kinds of organizations there uh, from all over the place. Uh, and you had really professionals that had background in teaching at the administrative level as well as teaching that came to help to please give that services. In addition to that, the West Tampa CDC were wanted to uh, help by providing necessary funding to make the deal work. As you know, I've um, been in the business of writing grants for over, uh, over, over 20 years. In fact, I, I, I provide grant training to over uh, 1,500 individuals and groups over the years. So my commitment and our commitment was to train two grant writers just to be able to write grants for the, um, for the uh, school, to get it back up to par, to bring in those resources that the school board isn't and hasn't really uh, apply. In addition to the grant writing, we also talked about best practices related to the uh, uh, changing an a F school to a um, to a a, a a a a passing grade. I mean, these these best practices are based on a New York and Baltimore initiative that looked at community development being an a approach to reducing the failing, uh, the failing schools, especially in African and brown uh, communities. So even we even though we offer that as a as a supplement to all of the other things that all of the other people that was at that meeting wanted to do. A whole lot of people at that meeting had put in the time, organizations had put in the time to work with the students uh, at Jess Elementary. So that being said, let's look at what um, conversation I had. And again, um, and it's a sad day, we didn't win, but that doesn't stop us. That just simply determined, get us determined to come back even stronger 
because we know Jess is not the first school to close. Board members, my name is Michael Randolph. I'm with the West Tampa CDC. I'm also the chairperson of the Center for Nonprofit as well as the uh, Center for Suspension Planning, which is a national organization that works with the special neighborhoods throughout the nation. Madam Chairperson, I would like to submit this in terms of a presentation. The West Tampa CDC comes with a public private deal in order to save Jess Elementary. You might have heard from a show that's called Living in Color. And the theme that came out with Living in Color is that homie don't play that. When it comes to our kids, we don't play. We come as a village, as you see here. But that's only part of it. We also bring money. As the CDC, we're able to bring in dollars that the school can bring in or other entities. Because we're a community development corporation, we have a special status with the federal government. Means that we get special priority in terms of bringing money into the community. In addition to that, our commitment is to train at least two to three grant writers whose own purpose will be to bring money into just elementary school. In addition to that, we also work with what's known as the Community Benefit Agreement. The Community Benefit Agreement is whenever a development occurs in the neighborhood, the community get an opportunity to use that money towards a just cost. In this way, just elementary school. We bring to the table best practices. It's all about evidence-based. We bring to you strategies from the Harlem School Zone in New York, as well as community board building and partnership. Both of these initiatives show that when community development corporation mixed with the community, we bring in additional dollars. In addition to that, we got one very important person that thank we bring so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next speaker. Madam Chairperson, Honorable Board Members, my name is Michael.